Okay, this video is going to be a little bit different. There won't be as much editing and memes as usual, but this is more of an informative video, as the topic itself is pretty complex. Let me know what kind of editing style you guys prefer in the comments. Anyways, as the title already says, I simulated the behavior of a drone software that was specifically built for war purposes, also known as UCAV or Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicles. Obviously, we're not going to build an entire drone today, I just wanted to simulate the behavior of one using Python. So let's get started. By the way, this is for educational purposes only. War drones can do a lot of things, but the features we want to focus on today are moving object detection with OpenCV and sound monitoring with Pi Audio and SciPy. I always wondered how it was possible to detect moving objects as I thought there's nothing to compare that to. Turns out there is. A method I used for the detection is something called background subtraction. So we remove the background using machine learning and are left with the foreground. We can then simply see if any of the detected objects in the foreground are moving. Great, but how do we actually implement it in our code? Let's first create a class called MOD that takes two parameters camera index and a detection callback. On detect is a callback function we're going to call once we detect a moving object. We need to call this method from the CV2 module to initialize our background, but it still doesn't know what or where the background is located. First we need to get the frame, then mask it. We can do that by applying the background subtractor to our current frame. Once we did that, we can find our foreground by calling the findContours method with the mask as our parameter. Note that in this case contours means basically the same as foreground. And since the returned foreground objects are a list, we need to loop through each detected object and check if the object's area is larger than 500. If yes, we can draw a rectangle around it, just so we know that it exists. We can then call the detect motion method. Let's run our file and you'll notice you can see a reflection of yourself. If you move something in front of the camera, it'll detect that and draw a rectangle around it. Now we have the first function of our program ready. What's left is to detect abnormal sounds that differ from the average sound frequency in our current environment, mainly loud things like gunshots. We can do that by beamforming our input signals, which we converted to a NumPy array. The initial audio data is from an opened audio channel. Usually, we would need multiple microphones for this, but I only have one in this case. The beamforming algorithm is kind of complicated, so I won't go into extreme detail, but basically, the idea is to to combine the signal from multiple microphones in a way that enhances the desired sound source while suppressing background noise and interference. This involves analyzing the time delays and phase differences between the signals received by each microphone and applying appropriate weights to them before summing them up. We can calculate the average audio frequency by defining it at the top and updating it with every loop sequence. Now if the current frequency is larger than the average frequency, we can start our object detection to see if there is anything there. In real life you would need to use the motor of the drone to move to the desired angle of the audio and apply the object detection there. As always, the code is on GitHub and don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys like this video. Also, join my Discord server if you want to talk with me. Until next time. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.